Hello everyone. My name is Muhammad Abedur Rahman of Mechanical Department from ISM Engineering College. In this video, I will be discussing about my final year project called 360 degree wheel rotation welding. The project group is of three members, Muhammad Jabir, Abdul Rahman and myself. Coming to the contents of this project, this will be the topics I will be discussing. Furthermore, I will try to elaborate them briefly. And this is the abstract of the project. As we all already know that car is a motor vehicle used for transportation, that is transportation of people rather than the goods. For most of the people, a good car is one that is reliable and won't cause many problems for years of ownership, probably which has seats for several people and plenty of room for transporting stuff and fuel efficient. For others, it's all about speed. For some people, it's about convenience and for some, it's about the ease of parking. So for that particular concern of parking, we have designed a new way of parking through six, 360 degrees of rotation of wheels. Introduction With the increasing population and the density of the traffic, there is a shortage of parking space. This project will hopefully facilitate the parking, moreover can also be helpful in traffic to retrieve the vehicle. In our system, there are two DC motors, one for lifting the car another one for locking the mechanism. Hardware description. These are the key parts and mechanisms of our project. The steering system. This mechanism is used to provide direction to the wheels by the help of chain and sprocket. The chain and sprocket mechanism is the most commonly used drive mechanisms in the vehicles. The sprocket is a profiled wheel with teeth that meshes with the chain and provides clockwise and anticlockwise motion. The wheels which we have used are made up of plastic. The rear wheels rotate 90 degrees to the left and the 90 degrees to the right by the help of a DC motor. Coming to for the DC motor and the battery, we have used a 12 volt 60 rpm DC motor which rotates clockwise direction when the supply is from battery to the motor and rotates anti-clockwise when the reverse current is applied from battery to the motor. Bearings As we already know, it is a machine element that constrains the relative motion and reduces friction between moving parts. In our project, we have used the roller kind of bearings. So, I will be explaining you the working process of our project. As I have mentioned earlier, the sprocket of the front wheel and the sprocket of the steering are connected by a first chain drive and the sprocket of rear wheels is connected to second chain drive and the DC motor is given to each wheel to provide forward and backward movement of the vehicle. When the steering rotates clockwise or anti-clockwise direction the, by the hand, the sprocket connected with the steering also rotates clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. This rotary motion is transferred to the front wheels by the chain drive because the teeth of the sprocket and chain drive are completely meshed to each other. So as a result, the front wheels of this vehicle rotates in 360 degrees motion at the same position. Now coming to the rear wheels, when the power is supplied from the battery to the DC motor, the motor starts to rotate in clockwise direction and also sprocket will rotate in clockwise direction which causes the sprocket bolt connected to the DC motor to rotate in the same force causing the rear wheels to rotate in 90 degrees left from original position and when the reverse current is applied from battery to the DC motor the rear wheels rotate 90 degrees to the right from original position this causes the rear wheels to rotate to the advantages and disadvantages of our project the main advantage of this project is that the vehicle rotates 360 degrees in both forward and backward direction and also this is eco-friendly and less noise operating. The main disadvantage of this vehicle is that it requires battery power thus it cannot carry more weight. Applications It, it is applicable in industries for automation of raw materials like automated guided vehicle. Also in automobile application in big industries for transportation of raw materials to park the vehicle in parallel direction and to take easy u-turns in the parking 
to conclude a prototype was proposed and was developed by introducing steering and dc motor in 360 degrees this prototype was found to be able to maneuver very easily in tight spaces and after manufacture of 360 degree rotation vehicle it consumed very less space and can be turned from one direction to another direction and consumes less time to turn and this vehicle is used in various areas such as small industries and railway platforms thank you